right. Let's start from pop culture. Remember uh, Back to the Future? Of course. There's the scene where Marty played. Marty! (laughs) (laughs) So Marty is at the dance. Right. Okay. He decides to play because Marvin Barry got his hand injured trying to open the trunk. So Marty plays the guitar for him. And then Marty starts playing Chuck Berry. Yes. Okay. So this is 1955. The Chuck Berries didn't didn't really late 50s, early 60s, right? So it predates the actual appearance of which was it was it Johnny B. Good? Yeah. So he's playing it, and Marvin Berry mm-hmm. hears it, right? Calls his brother. Hey Chuck, it's me, Marvin. No, your cousin, Marvin Berry. Yes, Marvin Berry, for the purposes of this bit, I must say my whole name. (laughs) Right. And so he holds up the phone, and Chuck Berry, who we presume is on the other side of the line, is hearing... Hearing Johnny B. Good. Johnny B. Good, played by Michael J. Fox, who is Marty. Okay. Marty McFly. So when I first saw that, Mm -hmm. I said, did they go again, crediting white people for that... (laughs) So now white people founded rock and roll. (laughs) That that was my first thought. Remember, it was 1985. That's right. And I, you know. Yeah. uh, All right. I was my first thought. But then I realized (laughs) the implications of it. Right. Okay. The implications are Chuck Berry hears this, Mm -hmm. and then he creates that song, Mm -hmm. and that's the song that Marty plays. So we can ask the question... Because was that song ever written? Right. Because the only way that Chuck Berry heard it was because Marty McFly played it. But the only way that Marty McFly played it is because Chuck Berry played it first right. in his frame of reference. Correct. So, But when he goes back in time, he actually creates it. But he Correct. couldn't have created it because it was already created before he went back exactly. in time. So, so it's just one so, big freaking so, paradox that never ends. No, no. So the song 